she's a tough kid. She's been brought up to have the underdog type attitude. Very fierce. And uh, she's not afraid of much. If she wants it, she goes for it. All of that combined has, has made her a pretty good athlete. I'm Eva Stolschmidt, and I play lacrosse at Steinbrenner High School. Eva is full of life. She uh, jumps in everything, full of spirit. You name it, Eva's tried it. Eva was very spunky and independent growing up. I mean, since she was two years old, just bouncing all over the place. I did gymnastics, dance, soccer, volleyball, basketball, and, well, horseback riding, too. She started riding when she was seven years old. A friend brought her into the sport. So since seven years old, she has been doing stalls. She has been throwing hay bales like nobody's business with how tiny she was. She is out there feeding at, you know, 5, 6, 6.30 in the morning. So you want a horse, you want to ride a horse, you better work for it. We got the barn when she was 13, and exactly that, it kind of instills in her, especially during the teenage years, how to work for everything. I love being around animals. Animals are a really big thing in my life. And it's a lot of fun having a horse to take care of and having the pig and seeing how the animals interact with each other. Um, when it comes to actually talking to her and engaging her about animals, about her farm, about her horses, she comes alive. Between her animals and lacrosse, two things you can't stop her talking about. I started playing lacrosse the summer before my freshman year going into my ninth grade year of high school. My dad forced me to go to a UT camp. She walked in and, and she basically stood behind me and, and hid behind my leg, almost like a, a small child, and looked up and most of the girls there were uh, upper class high school. Some were already committed to college. I got inspired by all of them because they were all so good and I was like, I want to keep doing this. Like, this is fun. They were all super nice and helpful. They instantly embraced her and uh, all her fears went out the window. When I picked her up that day, she went from earlier, Dad, I don't want to go, I don't want to do this, I'm, I'm, I'm afraid, I'm this, that, to, oh, I love this, I can't wait to come back tomorrow. And it just took off from there. Because she's been dedicated to the sport, because she's really focused on playing lacrosse, because the practices take up so much of her afternoon time, she's really doing well at being able to time manage and having to give up something that she loves as far as our animals to pursue another passion that she has. I knew that once she started playing lacrosse that this was the, the sport for her. Um, sometimes coaching personality is everything, the click between the athlete and the coach. Uh, Eva fell instantly in love with uh, Taylor Ketchum's program, Club Soul, and, uh, as her head coach. And uh, her coaching style was perfect for Eva. My relationship to Coach Taylor is pretty important to me because she's such a positive coach. She's always pat like super humble and passionate about everything she does. We believe in um, you know creating very altruistic socially conscious individuals. So a lot of our kids, they're refing, they're giving back to the game, growing the game by um, coaching littles. I think seeing someone my age out there coaching with them helps and inspires them a little bit to be like, oh, she's not that much older than us. It'd be fun to play lacrosse in high school and then go into college and play it. Top hand goes here, right under that sticker, and bottom hand goes to the bottom. The guidance they provide both on and off the field was a tremendous uh, thing for a young woman. You know, the attitude of helping, kind of a service before self mentality. She was happy to go uh, outside the country and do some service trips um, in, a, in a native village in Costa Rica and not only teach the love of her game of lacrosse, but also uh, work with the kids in, in building and repainting some schools and uh, service projects in that area. All of my coaches, we consistently try and make sure the girls know that this is 
a community. The lacrosse community is very valuable and it's something that you are always a part of even after you've finished playing. Wolfpack on three, one, two, three, Wolfpack! Uh, my interest in going into marine biology started when I was little because I do love the beach a lot. Like the beach and the fish and everything is super important to me. I'm always at the beach and Mr. Rocca definitely sparked my interest in that because he is so passionate about it too and hearing him talk about it and know so much about it made me want to do it even more. Take it down it. and squeeze it all the way and pull it out. Oh. And, and make sure you get the, the esophagus with it because that's always the best part. Well, she strives to probably be the best. She strives to be the best uh, in my marine, marine science class. Her grades were well. She did well in my class. Her tests in her labs and her projects, uh, she seemed to enjoy it. Balancing schoolwork and sports was definitely really hard, especially when I started taking AP classes. She is uh, battled back from not such a fantastic student to changing her mindset to become a great student. When she puts her mind to something, she really gets it done. So she knew right before getting into her junior year, it's when she started buckling down. 44. She made National Honor Society, which again, with all the battle of her grades, I never thought that would be my kid. So she got a National Honor Society in beta, so I think those were the two biggest academic accomplishments. Through the three years that I have had Eva, I've never seen her cry. I've never seen Eva shed a tear, but when she was presented in front of all of her fellow students and was presented the Max Prep Award, she started crying. And that, I knew at that point that that had touched her and meant so much to her. Sometimes I wake up or turn around and look at her, I'm like, how in the world did, did this turn into my kid? Extremely responsible very organized. A lot of things that we did instill in her, you know, at a young age, finally came together. Over the last four years, I was just grown into a, a young woman, very mature, and the game of lacrosse has helped her, has guided her to take in everything she has and enjoy it and um, be appreciative of it and try to spread that 